Hello everyone. I just thought I would uh, maybe try to send you a little video just to, so you can have a look at uh, what our new motorhome looks like. Well, it's not new. It's a 95, but it's in pretty good shape and I've done a lot of work to it. Anyways, I just thought Deb might like to, to uh, show you all what it looks like. So here's the beast here. We call it the Beluga. There it is from the front. And it's about 20, it's 27 feet long on the inside. And uh, it's about 28 feet all together with the trailer hitch and stuff. And these compartments on the side here, like here is storage. And that one is storage. This one has a generator in it. No, sorry, this one has the propane tank in it. Let's open up it up here. And that's what our propane tank looks like. And I'm not sure how big it is, but that should last us a whole season anyways. And that's for cooking and heater and whatnot. In here, in this compartment is storage on that side and then on this side we have a uh, 4,000 watt generator and this is more storage compartment oh yeah we have the, the awning that goes up alongside the hole that comes out so we can sit under the awning and have a beer or whatever and this is the back side And uh, that's what it looks like. There's the trailer hitch thing right there that uh, we're going to be towing. Oh, this is our Jeep. This is what we're going to be towing behind it. So we can park somewhere and then go exploring. It's our little Jeep. We like it so far. It's. Uh, I've got it hooked up with the towing things on the on it already. And back to the motorhome. On this side, we have in this compartment, uh, it's storage and the, the holding tanks for the black water and the gray water tanks are in there. And that's, uh, they're huge. And then storage in here. This is where the electrical cord is for plugging in the thing. If you were at a, you plug it into the house if you want power. But it's got power itself too. It's got inverter and stuff in it. And these compartments are huge storage compartments here. And I haven't actually driven this thing much yet. So I don't know what it's going to be like. It's going to be like driving a building for sure, but oh, I think I think I'll get used to it. Now I'll take you in and give you a little tour of the inside. What it looks like. It's not totally clean cleaned up yet inside, but it's getting there. The step automatically comes out when you open the door, which is kind of cool. I thought that was kind of neat. And inside oh here's the couch this is my seat cover so i don't get the seat all dirty when i'm sitting in it and this is where you drive it from the cockpit up here and co-pilot seat the engine doghouse is there it's got a 460 cubic inch v8 in it so uh, we know gas mileage is not going to be uh, really good but I guess what can you expect and it had another armchair like the like uh, like these captain's chairs here it had another one right here which facing this way which we took out to make room for the dog beds and this couch pulls out into a, a double bed as well and 
this is the kitchen table with the the nook and that table lays down and the cushions go across you can also sleep there if you have it, extra people it's got lots of cupboard space up here up top here I've got in the front I've got my printer for my computer and and just some of my Wi-Fi range extenders here and the people well, I haven't even cleaned it out from what the, from the people that owned it before but they left all sorts of things in here this is a bunch of VHS movies they left in here I guess we'll be won't be needing them and they left all their dishes and everything is in the cupboards and the cupboards are full of stuff which we haven't sorted out yet dishes and all sorts of things and uh, pots and pans microwave oven right here and uh, more storage uh, dishes and whatnot in here and there's the kitchen sink it's a it's a double sink with a with a uh, cutting board thing on it and and this is the can cover this sink and then this is a a three burner gas stove here and this tell this is our our uh, thing that tells us uh, when our tanks are full right now our water tank is full or almost full and the propane tank is full and this is our so it's got a solar panel on the roof it tells us um, how much how much is in the battery right here it's 13 volts and how much, if the thing is charging it's not that sunny out today oh it's not charging at all because the indicator says the battery's already fully charged and I put a 32 inch TV set in here which works really well and on the roof on the ceiling I mean we have a uh, air conditioner up there oh yeah and I replaced all the light bulbs in every light socket in this whole place with uh, LED light bulbs they draw like one tenth of the power of uh, of the light bulbs that were in here and including the these fluorescent lights I took the guts out of it and the tubes and I installed these uh, LED strips and they're even quite a bit brighter than the original fluorescent tubes that were in here I'll turn on you can see them they uh, they work quite well actually I'll just put this back on it's hard to do all this left-handed come on get on there there we go and this is the freezer and the fridge this is the freezer compartment and this is the refrigerator it's a nice size refrigerator it runs off either electric or propane and then this is the bedroom back here and uh, obviously the bed's not made yet because we haven't got our own bedding put in here yet and there's uh, cupboards above the bed there they're full of books and stuff right now so we don't have a shortage of reading material if we get bored <laughs> and a, a big closet here and three big drawers there I think this thing is going to be a lot of fun I think we're going to enjoy it this is a kind of a, where the lavatory sink is and the this cupboard's down below. They left all of their cleaning products and everything are are still in here. And that medicine cabinet thing here with not much left in there, but lots of room. Oh yeah. And it's got a pantry thing here, which is kind of cool. Store all sorts of cans and stuff and and uh, and all these 
things here and there. And they stay out of the way. And then this is the toilet and shower. And you see it's got a skylight in the in the ceiling in the shower. And that's your fan in the toilet area, the shower curtain and uh, it's a nice fair sized shower. And I put new towel bars and stuff up because we didn't like the gold ones that were in here. And I put in a porcelain toilet and stuff so it so it uh, it was it did have a plastic one. And there's another little medicine cabinet thing in here. What's all in here? Like I said, we haven't gone through all the cupboards and cleaned them out yet from the previous previous owners stuff, but. Uh, and that'll come when Deb gets back. We'll do that. Oh yeah, and then it's it's even got a door right here that separates the bedroom from the from the rest of the uh, of the motorhome, so somebody can sleep in here in privacy, which is cool. Yeah, there's some that are a lot bigger, but I think this one here is plenty big for us. And like I said, I don't uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get used to driving this thing, but well, eventually I guess other people do it, so there's no reason why we can't. And uh, oh yeah, and there's that stove, but it's also got an oven down below if you want to cook something or bake something or whatever. And uh, the previous owners, they left. Everything in here, coffee maker, toaster, and there's a kettle in there as well. And this is a little, little garbage can in here. A vacuum cleaner. And there's, there's also storage under these seats here at the table. So there's certainly no shortage of uh, storage spaces in here, and lots of windows. You sure it's nice and bright in here, and you get a great view out. And that front window is like watching a Omnimax cinema screen. It's huge. And uh, that's kind of about it. Sort of a a little rundown of of our new mobile home we hope to be spending a lot of time in this thing and and we hope it's going to be taking us to some really cool places and uh there's a crank on the ceiling that little crank there that's for uh, that's to uh crank up the tv antenna if, you, if you're close to a station you can watch television through the antenna or it's got cable plug-in so you can plug into cable outlets if you if you uh, at a campground that has cable, and it, TVs also has Wi-Fi, so if we, if we have Wi-Fi anywhere, we can watch Netflix and YouTube and stuff. And uh, then I've also got you know a hard drive with thousands of TV shows and movies on that we can just plug in and watch it if we don't have any reception. Yeah, and the, the people that did own it before they left everything in here. Like I say, they. There's some TV trays there if you want to sit at the couch and eat. A couple of brawlies they left behind. And they left stuff in the drawers. Like all sorts of just knickknacks and... And just a truck drawer, obviously. But uh, we have to go through the whole thing. Yeah, it's got propane and carbon monoxide detectors. And it's got a smoke detector in the bedroom there. And uh, there's another ceiling vent there with a fan that will turn on automatically if it gets too hot in here. And actually, I should put it down and I left it open to get some air in here. Yeah, I think this is going to be suit us just fine. And I. Anyways, I just thought I would. Uh, just give you a rundown of uh, 
what it looks like because it's hard to describe and I don't think Deb has any photos of it so anyways uh, that's it and I'm gonna see if I can get this video sent somehow I'm not sure how big it's going to be but uh, and I'm really sorry I couldn't have made it over there this time I would have loved to but you know somebody's got to look after the dogs and and look after the house and whatnot so um, but uh, I hope next time I get a chance to come get back to Australia. I love it over there. So, uh, anyways, so bye for now and take care, Deb. And I hope to see you back soon, Deb. We're missing you like crazy. Willie's doing good. He's eating like a horse. And I'm sorry to say, but I think the little one did put on a little bit of weight. But try to get it off her before you get back so you won't kill me. Anyways, so, uh. I'll see you later, and uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so bye for now.